Senator Tom Coburn, who watches the bottom line very closely uh, in Washington, has this question. When is the last time the CBO has been accurate about anything, he says. He joins me now. Senator, good morning. Good to have you with us. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you. So why do you doubt uh, this report? What do you see in here that doesn't ring true well, to you? Well, first of all, the language, it, most of the payment, the claimed savings come into payment uh, to the Social Security Trust Fund. That's not even a part of the calculation of the deficit. So it has no effect on the deficit. It has effect on the debt, but not on the deficit. Uh, it's not part even of part of the budget. Uh, so when we actually look at uh, how, what they've calculated, it'll have no effect whatsoever on the deficit. It may have some effect on the trust fund, yeah. but they're highly inaccurate. And the, the fact is, is a lot of these people who are uh, undocumented and illegal today are paying Social Security taxes. That's because right. they're working a under a false point. Social Security number. Yeah. <coughs> and, and what they are doing is not taking anything from Social Security because yeah. they're not qualified. Yeah. So, so I, I have a, a great deal of doubt uh, about the numbers that have been put out. I think the big thing that's been missed in the CBO score is the other statement that no, everybody should be reacting to. It only is going to cut uh, illegal immigration by 25 percent. That means we're still going to have 75 percent of the continued problem with illegal immigration. And nobody's raising any points over that. That's their assessment as well. So you can't have it both ways. You can't say Social Security's in good shape and then say, oh, by the way, this bill's going to solve Social Security problem and claim it as deficit money as well. Yeah, it, so it, it's smoke and mirrors from Washington. It, you make a lot of interesting points. And I just want to go back over the one that you made before, because there are a lot of illegal workers in this country who, in their, they, who pay into the Social Security system and reap no benefits from it at all. Does, does this CBO, does it account for that, that, that many of those people would be converting to being here legally so it wouldn't really change? change in terms of the money that they're bringing in? Well, I have the, what they did was go out 10 and 20 years. Of course, their 20-year estimates are far less accurate. The real point would be is at 30 years, what's the impact? And of course, you can't see that. Plus, they don't have a handle on it now. If, if, you, if you ask the federal government what uh, the, the control of the border is, they'll tell you 85 percent. If you ask people who actually does, do studies of illegal immigrants, they'll tell you it's about 45 percent. Mm -hmm. So, you know, where you get your information and how accurate it is and what the track record is is very important. And CBO's track record on this kind of stuff is abysmal. Well, obviously, it's a big selling point for proponents of this bill uh, because they look at the numbers and the face on the face of it and say, well, that's good. You know, the, the GDP well, would be higher, uh, you know, and, and the deficit would be lower in the long run. So I ask you this in terms of where this bill's going, because, uh, you know, that, that's the biggest question right now. Well, Martha, the important point is the GDP will be bigger because we're going to allow another 8 million illegal immigrants into this country under their, what they've said. So you're not going to just have 11 million, you're going to have another 8 million into the country under this bill. So the whole, the whole contention is to control the border and do the humanitarianly right thing uh, with the people who are living in the shadows here. And I don't necessarily disagree with that. But but we ought to be very cogent about how we do this and rather than repeat this again. So so I think there, it, at best it's a mixed bag from CBO and, right. and usually it's not very reliable. Very interesting. Tom Coburn, Senator, thank you so much. Thank you. More